Hello, it's Sharon Bogat, the Nissan whistleblower. I'm standing in front of my post office, and I'm right now looking at this novel that I got from Baker Donaldson. Basically, Baker Donaldson lawyer Bridget Carpenter, she put together a brief. It's a lot better than my brief, probably because she's a really good lawyer. She and I have been going against each other in this lawsuit since I had to get rid of my lawyer, Klein Preston. Klein Preston, I found out, had a conflict of interest and he wasn't representing me to the best of his abilities. Klein Preston is a man that actually told me his brother was the top CIA lawyer, Stephen Preston. And then he said he wasn't his brother and then he won't do an affidavit saying he's not related to Stephen Preston or connected to the CIA. Well, it's long and complicated. But at the end of the day, I'm a whistleblower from Nissan. I was working with top Nissan executives and what I happened was as I communicated discrimination, women in management went from 20.9% down to 10%. I communicated fraud in reference to the Nissan LEAF and I communicated an internal battle of control. Anyways, that was happening at Nissan. Uh, Mr. Sayakawa wanted to take over Goen's job. It was pretty ugly, and I told Tavares, and I also told Tavares I would blog, and I told him that I would be a change agent. Basically, I would have a blog to expose problems in Nissan, and after I exposed certain problems, that's when a lot of harassment started. And as soon as they caught on to me, the good old boys, the people that Mr. Tavares wanted gone, they sent me a letter saying I couldn't be on the property. But the letter was really funny. It basically was like, you can't blog, you can't talk to a Nissan employee, you can't go to a Nissan employee's home. Well, I was living, and this was in 2009, I was living in the corporate headquarters. And basic town, Franklin, Tennessee. And they never told me. They never sent a, had a court order me not to be at Nissan. And for a whole year, I didn't do anything. But Nissan refused to do references. They refused to help me get a job. I was given promises that weren't kept. And at the same time, I cut a deal with Carlos Tavares, and that is I would expose problems. He knew I was starting a blog. I have emails from him after the blog started. I have emails from IT uh, telling me um, about not to tie them to my blog. People at Nissan were fighting each other. And I have proof. And I also have proof that I said I'd be a change agent. And I would basically, for a certain amount of money per month, I think it was, um, I said, I told Mr. Tavares it was between 12500 and 15000 a month. That's what change agents were going for. And um, I would do it for, we would just split it in half. And then I actually told Mr. Tavares I would do it for 13250 a month, which actually hurt me because half turns out to be 13750 But being an ethical person in my word, I will allow for that number 1325 to happen, which means that Baker Donaldson, I want this over. I don't want to fight you. I mean, you're taking over my constitutional rights. I mean, I know exactly what you're doing. You're a damn good lawyer. And you know what? You can win. But if you win, America loses. Because what you've done is you've used the system to work against humanity. Oh, great. You are a fantastic lawyer. But at the same time, the law was broken, not by me, by a corporation taking $1.4 billion to build a car with outdated technology. The law was broken by a company that went from 20.9% women in management down to 10%. The law was broken when I was stalked, harassed, and bullied. I'm not the one that broke the law. I'm the one fighting for some justice. And you know what? It looks like you don't want to give me justice. So you know what I'm saying? Let's just go back to the change agent deal. And Nissan, the people in Congress don't give a shit. Daryl Issa's office seems to be rather fine with you doing business with Iran. Daryl Issa is too biggy, busy talking about the Tea Party issues with the IRS. You know, if Daryl Issa gave a rat's ass about America, it would be a lot better. Also, the Obama administration, yeah, you too. America's in trouble because of all of you in D.C. It's disgusting. But I've given up on this Nissan fight. I'm gonna fight for my American rights. And you know what, Baker Donaldson, I'm gonna take it all the way up to the highest court I can. You might be a better lawyer than me, but the one thing I've got going for me is this U.S. Constitution. And you know what, you sent me this big document that I gotta read, and trust me, I will read it. But I read the final paragraph, and basically you are saying, Sharon Bovat has no rights. 
because she didn't do respond to a summary judgment. Well, it wasn't me. It was a lawyer that deceived me. Okay? I responded as soon as I had the capability of representing myself, which is in the American Constitution. So I want my chance to be heard in court. I want to do this appeal. And I'm going to win. And if I don't win, that means that Constitution is nothing but a piece of toilet paper. God bless America.